Okay, we're going to talk about Celine Dion. All right, somebody had brought this up to me. And I did some research last night. Um, and she has something called stiff person disease. And when I first heard, st I thought it was a joke. I was like, wow, <laughs> you know, really. But apparently it's a thing. And uh, Celine Dion has it. And it's, uh, apparently it's debilitating. It's uh, kind of crippling her. Uh, where she can't perform and all, all of this good stuff. So uh, let's see what what it what is it? What is um, stiff person syndrome? Thank you very much. So first off, right out of the gate, talk to us about what exactly are autoimmune diseases. Some people may not know. Sure. Well, everyone has an immune system, and that is made up of cells and other molecules in our bloodstream that help us fight off infection and fight off cancer. Uh, but sometimes the immune system can be quite self-reactive and can attack one or other organs in our bodies. Uh, an example would be, say, rheumatoid arthritis, where the immune system attacks the joints. Now let's talk about stiff persons. It's the midichlorians in your blood. This one syndrome exactly what is it and who does it affect so stiff person syndrome is an autoimmune disease where the nervous system is attacked and principally it attacks the spinal cord and the part of the brain just above it called the brain stem and the pathways that regulate excitation and inhibition so essentially patients end up with too much excitation in their nervous system causing stiffness and spasms. So it, it's affecting the brain stem. Just remember that part of it. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny in a way, but uh, you'll see as we continue on. And this can fluctuate. It can come on quite suddenly. It can be triggered by loud noises. And when the whole body stiffens up, uh, this can result in injurious falls. Wow, loud noises. I mean, she's a performer. It affects both men and women. It can affect uh, patients across the lifespan, but most commonly affects women and uh, usually has its onset in the 40s or 50s. Now, I do know... Now, I heard another um, one that says it affects two out of every million. Two out of every million get this disease. It's very rare. I don't know what else she's going to say. Of here. course, that Celine Dion came out and says that she was uh, diagnosed with this. And she actually did speak out about it on her social media. And we do have a clip of that we want to show our viewers. Unfortunately, these spasms affect every aspect of my daily life, sometimes causing difficulties when I walk. It's kind of uncomfortable, huh? Looking at her and she's saying this. And not allowing me to use my vocal cords to sing the way I'm used to. <laughs> All right. Had a phone call. Here we go. Wow, and you heard her right there talking about how this affects her personally. Are there any other ways that people can be affected by this? And can you share that with us, doctor? Yes, sure. I mean, this, as you can hear there, this can be a very severe disease and can really affect people quite badly. Um, so what it can do is it can affect the, the low back and the legs, causing spasms and stiffness. Uh, it can sometimes affect other parts of the body, such as the arms sometimes even the respiratory muscles, so the chest wall muscles could contract and spasm and cause breathing difficulties. Really hard to think about. Well, now, that would definitely affect a singer, right? I mean, she's got a project, and boy, does she, she can project. Someone thinks they may have an autoimmune condition. Exactly what should they do from their doctor? Well, autoimmune conditions can affect any organ in the body or any part of the body. So um, as, as a first pass, I think uh, seeing one's primary care doctor will be appropriate. But um, what can happen then is the, the doctor can 
look and see, okay, what, what, what type of autoimmune condition is this? Is there suspicion for stiff person syndrome? Uh, the, the, the team could consider a referral to Mayo Clinic uh, for evaluation. There's a specialty clinic there where... Uh, where yeah, he's just going to go on and, and tell you what, you what you need to do. I mean, I think if somebody had it, they were hurting all over. I mean, they'd be going to the doctor. <laughs> look at this comment. Let's see. Thank God a full-figured newscaster. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Okay. So, we covered what disease she has. Got a little bit of uh, her midichlorians. Or she doesn't have any. So, which is sad. I mean, it, 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 is, it is sad to, you know, to have that. My goodness. Okay, so, if you guys aren't familiar, this is a commercial she did. This was uh, four years ago, all right? So, we all know what's happening across the country with the libtards uh, pushing their, their libtard agenda on the school system, right? And uh, I guess we should have saw it coming, because... All of a sudden, why are we having these conversations and parents up in arms, especially in California, they've been protesting, trying to get bills passed and notify parents, which is a no-brainer, right? You got a kid in school, you want to know what's going on, right? You want to know what's going on. So, this here is pre-all that, right? Right? And I guess we, we we were were we hit blindsided? Were we hit blindsided? And we're going to take a look at this commercial that she did to I guess kickstart her um, clothing line. Which who's buying clothes from her for her kids? Once once you see this, it's it's like okay. Now I did already watch this to prep for this video. Um, you know, I looked at all this different stuff and how can, how can I compile this to make it, you know, somewhat interesting and, and get an idea of what's going on. But I don't know. Let's check this video out and, um, let's see what the heck is going on. Oh! It's okay. It's okay. It's, I'm Celine Dion. Okay, she's Celine Dion. All right. Our children, they are not really our children, as we are all just links in a never ending chain that is life. For us, they are everything. But in reality, we are only a fraction of their universe. <laughs> okay, that was just a little creepy, too, right? What is she saying? She's saying there, there are children. Let's back it up a little bit. Let's 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 see exactly what she said. All just links in a never-ending chain that is life. For us, they are everything. But in reality, we are only a fraction of the. Maybe I needed to back up a little bit more. As we are all just links in a never-ending chain that is life. For us, they are everything. But in reality, ah, crap. Our children, our children, they are not really our children, our children. As we are all just links in a never ending chain that is life. For us, they are everything. But in reality, we are only a fraction of their universe. <laughs> now, the thing, the profound, profound thing she did just say is about the children, right? There are children. I mean, because what, what, what do they want right now? What were the protesters, the pride protesters saying when they, not the protesters, in the parades, right? What was it? What month is that? I don't even know. Anyway, doesn't we even care? Um, 
what did they say? We're coming after your kids. I mean, they just told you flat out. I mean, before, you know, there was always a hidden agenda. But now they're just right out in your face. They, you know, in, in the gay pride parades, we're coming after your children. I'm sure you guys saw that. I probably should have dug a video of that, but um, I'm sure everybody knows. So, so she's saying this four years ago, and it was just this past year, the gay parades were saying we're coming after your children. She's saying there are children, and that's the thing, right? You indoctrinate them while they're young. Get them while they're young. I, I, I just found that interesting, too. And keep in mind, this, this is pre- all of this stuff happening in the schools, which I, I think is uh, interesting and terrifying at the same time. We miss the past. They dream of tomorrow. We may thrust them forward into the future, but the course will always be theirs to choose. And what the heck is this crap? What is this? Some kind of demonic pixie dust? What the, what the hell? Oh, wow. Wait, 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 wait. We got to back this up. We got to back this up. We got to back this up. All right. I think right here. Okay. There. All right. Look at the change here. <coughs> what the hell? What what is this? Now Celine Dion, beloved singer, worldwide, one of the most top sellers of all time. I saw a stat last night saying with her I think she did a decade in Vegas and she made four hundred million in Vegas, I, I, that, I believe that's what I heard, what, what I read and saw researching for this. And I was like, wow, that's some serious dough. But look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What, what is this? What are little demons popped out beside the children? W what is this? Now, this looks like the, the Red Cross symbol. I don't know if there's any relevance to, to any of that, you know. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to go over the top. But, generally, they're telling us what they're going to be doing, right? In a way, in a in a subliminal way, maybe. And keep in mind, this is for a clothing line for children. Is that kind of a, like a sadistic smile on her face? Let's let's see, let's see, let's see, let's go back. Look look at that. What? That that's kind of creepy. Like look what I've done. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a little creepy. She's a beautiful woman. Look, you see how she turned her head like back and forth? That that was a little creepy too. That was just a little creepy. Watch, watch her head. Okay, here and then she's just going to go like, yeah, I got them all. I got them. Then, then. Here the, here's the clothing. Check out the shirt. New order. What's up with that? That's, uh, what... Would anybody put their baby in this stuff? Who's put? Who's buying this stuff for their kids? I don't know. Inquiring minds want to know. Well, she said, oh no, I got busted. I can't believe they call security. I mean, oh, come on, I'm Celine Dion. <laughs> wow. I can't believe they called security. She's in a maternal ward with children. And looky here. These kids, they're not brand new babies. I mean, look. That that baby, what, maybe a month old? I don't know. I mean, that's, uh, 
they're not uh, they're not brand brand new, but they're in the um, the ward where they keep the children. What 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 the heck is she doing there? I can't believe they called security. Really, some creepy person blowing some kind of black demonic pixie dust over other people's children, and and whose kids are these? Maybe they just got paid really well to have their child, their baby, in this video. Oh my God, it's Celine Dion, and she wants my baby in this. I'd be like, run like the plague. I don't know about you guys, but I don't, I don't care how much money they'd throw at me. If you know, my son was a baby. He's he's grown now, by the way, and I've got, I'm raising another boy. Uh, there's no way. I don't care how much money you throw at me. If if I looked at the the outline of the commercial, okay, what what is this commercial for? What's going on? I'd be like, I'd r run, run. I don't know. Money changes people, uh, but I don't know. I'd rather have some conviction, and uh, I would feel like this is really creepy, and then to have this this pixie dust crap. Blown, blown on the kids, right? Look at this. Look at this. What was that black stuff that was in Game of Thrones? But that's that that black. I don't even. I don't even remember what it was called. It's been a minute since I've. I mean, I've watched Game of Thrones all the way through twice in the past several years. It, it was epic, by the way. The black, uh, they'd made weapons out of it, though. And they, they could kill uh, the White Walker with, with them. But then I was like, was there in another movie or something that had some kind of black magical stuff? Uh, just, I don't know. Maybe it's it's right there, but I can't, I can't think of it right off the bat. But anyway, look, already she's blowing... And look, there's a little, there's a little demon right there, or whatever. What is that? Look, there's another, there's a hand coming up right here. I mean, this is just, this is cringe level stuff here. Seriously. Whoa, 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 whoa! I just caught something new. Watch this. It's gonna flicker on the back wall. Okay, so on each side of her, there, there, you know, there's a wall, and then there's the door. Keep your eye on the two back walls because it looks like it's flipping from cross to genders. Okay, I, I just now saw that. Watch, watch, watch. Ah, it had pink and blue. Y'all caught that? I'm I can't believe they call security. I mean, oh, come on, I'm Celine. I am just shocked. I am Celine Dion. I can do what I want to the children because they're ours. Celine Dion? <laughs> I'm not spending the night in jail. Holy sh... Easy. I'm Celine Dion. Yeah, girl, and I'm Beyonce. I'm calling my agent. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was um, just super creepy. Okay, so we got some comments down here. Look at this. Look, look, look at this. Let me get this fixed so I can read this stuff. Uh, let me move this over. Yeah, I'm still learning stuff. And let's go boom. Boom. I'm just making sure what I'm reading is actually in the in the video feed. Uh, look at this. This is what it looks like when individuals become disconnected with reality. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. No sleet on. No. S <laughs> Blah. Celine, they are indeed our children. This guy says, mark me down as no vote. This commercial is not only disturbing, but frightening. I'm sad to realize that Celine Dion is part and or supports something so dark. 
I'm actually pretty shaken up about this. Life on this earth is getting scarier every day. And this comment was made three years ago. All right? So this, this video is four years old. I mean, it goes on and on and on. Now, last night, there was two... Um, Two sites I went to that had this video. So I was looking to see if there was anything different or whatever, but they were both pretty much the same. One of them, the comments were um, shut off because I was like, oh, I was, you know, I'm wanting to check out these comments to see, see what people are saying, get a pulse of, um, you know, are people for this or like, and it's looking like the majority is like creeped out. It's saying your children are not really yours, they are ours. Then she blows some tech looking stuff on them and they are now wearing the new world clothes. Yeah, it's just it's just crazy. When rich people want to change the world, it's always awkward. Why is it rich people <laughs> that wanna that wanna change the world? Well, because we can. I don't know, does money make you, uh, if you become like this stinking rich person, all of a sudden you you get this different mentality that you're just superior and that, you know, you can think of a better way for all of us. <laughs> we know what's best for you. I mean, look at the uh, Microsoft guy. I mean, he's talking about like, you know, they're... Uh, too many people on the planet, whatever, all this craziness. It's like, seriously? Uh, like, these comments are just really interesting. Um, it's like, I think it's like 90, if not 100%. Uh, well, there's a couple that are kind of creepy. I think it's more like what, you know, the percentage here is really high towards the, the cringe factor. Just the cringe factor itself in this in this commercial, right? In this commercial. All right. So now we have we have we have an interview. We have an interview with Celine Dion. This was also four years ago. And this is uh this is kind of creepy too, guys. All right, this is this is creepy. Oop, this business venture that she will be heading up a gender neutral clothing line for children. Here's your second time at a front row seat with Celine Dion as she tells Chloe Mullis about seriously her life now. The first time I brought them to Disney. I thought they were going to go for, you know, the big superheroes. They were looking at princesses. And they all wanted to be, you know, Minnie Mouse. And then well, if you looked at that picture, it looked like their, their hair was kind of girly, didn't it? The two twins. I don't know. I couldn't see the back, but it was parted down. It looks like it was coming down and kind of like me. I mean, I'm in a tight ponytail. I've got it pulled back tight, but... It's like loose and then and then that, but she's saying her two boys wanted to to look at the princesses. All right. And I said, but what about Mickey? And then I'm saying to myself, you know what? It's okay. You know why it's okay? Because they're talking, they're finding themselves. We may thrust them forward into the future. But the course will always be theirs to choose. Celine wants all kids to find themselves. Not Wow. She wants all kids to find themselves. What? Leave our kids alone, please. Parents know what's best for their own children. Just her own. And she hopes her partnership with Nu 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 will help. The clothes in her new line are gender neutral. Some parents might be a little worried or concerned seeing their child put on their heels or put on their nails. I'm not here, Celine Dion. Yeah, you think? Dion Singer, who's got three kids, who's going to tell the world right now, you should do it this way, you should not do that, this is wrong. I, I, listen, I'm, 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 not, I'm not doing that. Yes, she is. 
Yes, she is. I mean, she says she's not, but come on. You're going to create a clothing line for gender neutral kids. So basically you're going you're promoting it. So so in a way you are. People are, are we are all influenced one way or the of the other. E- even grown-ups, we get influenced by commercials we watch like you see a big old hamburger and you're like, "Oh my god, I'm 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 hungry." That is being targeted. You're being targeted to go buy that pizza. You watch this commercial or even certain clothes. When you see a bunch of popular ads coming up, and then all of a sudden, oh, that's what everybody's going to wear. We are indoctrinated, whether we like it or not, by the culture of the media and news. We are. I mean, I, I, reali- I realized it. I'm like, wow. Boy, I'm, you know, it, it, it's not too hard to figure out when you're watching TV and these commercials come on. You're like, man, I want that pizza. I'm starving. Right? Well, you're being targeted and messaged and influenced. And it can be that way for clothing as well. Let them tell you what they feel like. New 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 has been around for years. Its founders created the fashion line out of necessity when they couldn't find clothing for their own kids. Okay, so she's saying it's been out for years. This video came out four years ago. Now, keep in mind, today we're dealing with the, the assault on um, the school system, the public school system being assaulted by the, the liberal agenda. So, guys, they've been working on this for a long time, right? They've been working on this for a long time. I wouldn't imagine. I, You know what? In hindsight, thinking about it, it's like I didn't see this coming. I mean, I didn't see what was coming at the schools, right? To be sneaking in, be sneaky, sneaky Pete, to where, okay, this is a safe place, you know. We don't have to tell your parents. Kind of creepy, cringe stuff going on, you know. I didn't see that coming. I'll be honest, I didn't see that coming. Fashion has the power to shape people's minds. Where it's an okay, this is really cringe. These two people, I believe they're the ones who help her design the clothes. No, 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 trying to shape the future of all human beings by saying, find your own individuality. Shape the future. We bring a new order uh, as a concept. Into the world. Into the world. Do you know what? We're going to bring a new order of the concept. A concept of a new order. And what better way to do that than our... Our little children's minds full of mush that they can just put because kids are so influential and it's so easy and they know this predators know this they know it's disgusting it's disgusting that they that they use this to to influence our children and we and we've kind of allowed it and you know Everybody knows what's best for their own children, but it's, uh, it's disgusting. You don't know what they're going to become later. And you don't want for them to have psychologically a problem of growth. And say, I'm supposed to be like that. I'm supposed to say that. I'm supposed to dress like this because I'm a guy. I'm a boy. I'm supposed to do. There is such a small portion of the population that literally are not what they want to be. Okay, let's just say that. We don't need an agenda to put... Because there, we all heard these stories of these kids who never would have thought about it. Never. And we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Never, Probably never would have thought about it unless the idea was implanted in their head. Now, there is a small portion. Maybe it's, I don't know, I'm going to be generous and say maybe 3% of the population that are literally, they're gay. Okay, let's just say it. Literally, they, they, they probably are. And that's fine for them, right? 
But to push an agenda on, on kids who never would even, because they put this idea in their head, right? And they know this. They know this. This is indoctrination. We can just dabble that. And then all of a sudden, okay, we know kids are confused, especially when, when they're going through puberty. I mean, their emotions are high. Everything, you know, everything's a roller coaster ride. Either they're always angry or whatever the case may be. <clears throat> but they're highly influenced. And they're still, they, we, we all were when we were going through puberty. You're finding yourself, of course. But you need to find yourself naturally and work your way and, and learn these things. And you don't have to be influenced by people like this. No. No. You don't know. Let people be who they are as quick and as soon as possible. Wow. Let them be who they are quick and as soon as possible. That means uh, she's saying we've got to we've got to start doing this now we got to start indoctrinating them now we need everybody right now as soon as possible we need to, to get this agenda rolling and just steam forward ahead right okay so she did this song all right it's called the prayer this is the english version i also have um the, the other lyrics, she, let's look at this. She is, uh, get off of there. If you look, it's, uh, I, I believe that's, I'm thinking it's Italian. I don't know what this is. I don't, I don't know uh, if somebody can tell me what, what that is. I'm not sure. But I found an English version of the lyrics. And... Uh, this is, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, now seeing that commercial, that interview, it's completely changed my perspective on her, right? Now, I respected Celine Dion as a, as a musician, an artist, and she is epic, epic vocals, was blessed with, I mean, some serious... Vocals. Apparently, she she came from humble beginnings. She was um, she was like the last child of like fourteen kids or something. So yeah, it was uh, it was pretty uh, pretty humble beginnings. And then now with with this, and then and then she comes out with this song. I don't know when this song came out, by the way, but it's I don't know. It's kind of. I don't know what to think about it. I pray you will. Let's see. You know what? I don't want to read all this. I will put this link in the description. And then you guys are welcome to read it. I'll do both descriptions. The one that has the uh, the other language and in in the, in the, in this one. All right. All right. This video is uh, getting a little long. So we're going to try to wrap this up now. This is the official, let me see if I can get this to move, uh, Gender Transformation, the Untold Realities trailer, right? So, I can leave this, this one in the description. I don't, I don't know if y'all want to look at this or not, but um, it's on Epoch. Epoch Times, they've got some good commentators on YouTube. Y'all need to check them out. They, they they do a really good job. But this 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 kind of ties into what we're talking about is uh well let let's just take a look at this. Let's let's just take a look at this. Now they're probably gonna be Oh, there's no commercial. We're good. What the heck? Okay. Do you think you'd be happier as a boy? My mom would never allow. Now keep in mind, all of this from Celine Dion four years ago, and then even prior to that with this, with this clothing line, has led up to, now we have to have a movie about this? And what they're attacking the school, their children? Oh, that's abuse. 
Americans. Oh, yeah, and that was another thing, too. It's like the parents don't understand, so don't tell them. They're not gonna, they're not gonna, uh, they're not gonna just understand. They're your enemy. Hear me cry. That's some, like, Nazi stuff right there. See my dreams all die from where you're standing it's like a quick on your own. We'll wrap this up. Anybody who's gone through this, it's the same thing. Sweetie, please. No, no. I, I need you to leave. Evie, no. Where no. are you getting this no. from? We're just masquerading. When did parents become enemy number one? This is all coming. Yeah, you guys need to check this movie out. Epoch is is a good a good place to go. They've got a newsletter that com that comes out too that you can subscribe to. It's really good. From the top, the major corporations, governments, politicians. You have a pipeline. It's also in the education system. So today we're going to talk a bit about genders. We are here to support you. Like and there it is. There it is. We're here to support you. Which these kids never would have had an inkling. They'd just keep going on about their business, going to prom, going to the school dances, going to the movies with their buddies, doing whatever they do, normal stuff. And then they, they got to come. It, it really does make me angry. I mean, what, did, what does it say in the Bible? It'd be better for you to tie people who harm the innocent should tie a millstone around their throat, sling themselves off a mountain. Yeah, I said it. I couldn't breathe. My aching body fell to the floor. I've talked to hundreds, if not thousands of parents. Our stories are all the same. They told my parents if I wasn't allowed to transition, I would be at risk of suicide. This was a group where they basically gathered vulnerable children and taught them that it was us against them. Would you rather have a dead daughter or a living son? That question is... That has been the biggest lie ever. Would you rather have a son alive? Or would you rather have a... No, a son that's dead and a daughter alive. Whatever, it's all mixed up. But you get the point. That is just stupid. Now, there are stats, and I need to probably, I should have done a little more, and I apologize, but I did see some things in the past talking about uh, children who've gone through some of these uh, transition stuff, and they become way more depressed, way more depressed, and more likely to commit suicide. So, again... Right is wrong, wrong is right. This is all twisted backwards. They're telling you one thing, but it's actually the other thing. It's better just to leave them alone. Now look, if, the, if somebody's 18 and older, which we all know we're still stupid at 18, but the thing is, if they're grown and, th and then they got this thing in their head that they want to go do something, then by all means, you're, you're an adult, go do it. But to do this to children while they're going through adolescent, going through puberty with these puberty blockers, it creates some serious problems. And you know what, guys? Be looking out down the road the next 5, 10 years of these, of these parents who have done this to these children. What are going to be the health consequences? Now, I know if you give them puberty blockers, they can never... And they're giving them the blockers, so, so let's say you don't go through puberty. You don't go through puberty. You stopped it. You can never have children. I mean, is that what they want? Oh, there's too many people on the planet. Which is another lie. Um, they're not going to have any children. That right... You know... It, uh, it's, it is frustrating that these people, their agenda is to destroy... Everything that is precious and good. Asked over and over again. And therapists are trained to say that. Yeah, and that's the problem with Jordan Peterson, too, in his practice that uh, they're telling him they're wanting to restrain his speech in Canada. If, if somebody came to him and, you know... He has to say certain um, pronouns or whatever. And he's like, no. 
I'm not going to tell somebody this or this. And then you have the them go, counselors telling telling kids that it's okay for them to do this stuff without without the parents knowing about it. destroyed my health. Looking back, it made me feel even more hopeless. And then I felt down, I felt tired, I felt exhausted. That half of my body shakes on its own uncontrollably. I'll never be the same. I was allowed to destroy my body. They never talk about how much harm is being caused. No and that, and there it is. They're gonna tell you this big, and a lot of this stuff is experimental. It's all experimental. This has never been done in the human history of man to go ahead and mutilate people and try to change their sex. I mean, maybe. I'm thinking it hasn't. I mean, you know, I've been walking the earth for over 50 years. Well, not over 50. Well, yeah, over 50 years. Oops. But, I mean, if somebody's got some information to say when, I mean, we're, I know about eunuchs, okay? They did these things to control to control the slaves, but to do it because somebody wants to be a different sex? To go and do that? No. Th this is this is new new territory. Josh of Blue Club. Mm -hmm. He says our closest family are often our worst enemies. It's separating kids from their parents. The state has decided that Evan should stay at a group home for now. For his safety. What a parent's nightmare. And it's all down to brainwashing them. Brainwashing them because they are minds full of mush. And this is the crap that they put in it. We miss you so much, Abby. Leave him alone. Like this is the most important question. Why are they all doing this? Y'all need to check out Epoch Times, The Untold Realities. And this is something that we need to be getting out and having uh, more discussions on this and more education of parents uh, knowing about these things. So maybe, maybe their kid is. Like I said, there's like, what, 2 to 3% of the population? Maybe it's a little more, but it, it's a minute population, especially here in America, that actually are, okay, you know, maybe they don't feel like they're in the right body. But even then, you could still be be happy with the body you're in. You're just going to have to deal with it and move on, right? You got to deal with it. You got to deal with it. Because the alternative is the untold realities right here is that they go and have all these surgeries, and they're worse. They are worse off than if they just left their body alone and just went and lived their life. Well, there you have it. I uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I did enjoy making it. It was interesting. Um, I could have kept going, but we're, we're already way deep into this. But anyway, enjoy, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Helps with the algorithm. And thank you, and have a great day.